Do you know what happens to your body when a rabid dog bites you? The word rabies brings us scary images of enraged animals with frothing mouths. It is true that an encounter with a rabies-infected dog may lead to a life-threatening situation. Before we dive in, if you are new here, consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on our new videos. According to statistics provided by the World Health Organization, around 59,000 people die of rabies across the world every year. 99% of these cases have been triggered by dog bites. In this video, you will find everything you need to know about dog bites, rabies, and the preventative measures you can take against this horrifying disease. So, what is rabies? Rabies is a deadly virus that can spread to and among people from the saliva of infected animals, particularly domestic animals like dogs, cats, or rabbits, along with wild animals like raccoons, skunks, and bats. It is mostly transmitted via bites and scratches from an infected animal. Rabies attacks the central nervous system in human beings and causes damages there, particularly inflammation in the brain, even though rabies is treatable by medical professionals, once the symptoms appear, it almost always turns out to be fatal. Well, we make videos on such dog care related topics. If you have any topic in mind, consider mentioning it in the comments section below and we'll get every detail you need to know about it. Now, let's understand how you can know that you got rabies from a dog bite. The incubation period. That is, the period between the dog bite and the appearance of symptoms is usually 4 to 12 weeks once a person has been infected. As the virus attack on the human brain continues, there are two types of rabies that can develop in the person. One of them is called furious rabies. Infected patients who develop furious rabies tend to be hyperactive and excitable. They display erratic behavioral patterns and inexplicable agitation. Other symptoms of furious rabies include insomnia, confusion, anxiety, hallucinations, agitation, problem in swallowing, excessive salivation, fear of water. The other kind is called paralytic rabies. The incubation period for paralytic rabies is deceptively long. The infected patient will most likely become paralyzed, slip into a coma, and eventually pass away. If you have been bitten by a rabid dog, you will be given a series of injections to prevent the rabies virus from infecting you. There are two kinds of rabies shots. One is a fast-acting shot also known as rabies immune globulin. This needs to be taken quickly after the dog has bitten the person and part of it is injected near the bitten area. The second is a series of rabies vaccine injections. These vaccinations will be injected in a series of four injections over 14 days in your arms. Here are some preventative measures every individual must take to avoid the risk. The first measure is proper vaccination of dog. All dogs need to be given some core vaccines within a certain age. These include parvovirus, distemper, hepatitis, and most importantly, the rabies vaccine. All dogs must be vaccinated for rabies by the time they are 14 weeks of age, and then again when they are a year old. The second measure is not to let your dog stray outside for too long. It is also a good idea to not let domestic dogs stray outside for too long as they may contract the disease from wild animals loitering in the open. The third measure is to get yourself vaccinated. Pet owners should definitely consider getting a rabies vaccination themselves. This vaccine is administered in the deltoid area on the arm for adults and on the thighs for children. The final measure is to report infected animals. Any signs of infection in animals ought to be reported to local authorities, animal control departments, or health departments so that the virus spread can be contained. This is how we can prevent or save ourselves and our pets from rabies. That is all for this video. Do let us know in the comments section if there are other facts about rabies and dog bites that we may have missed out. Thank you for watching this video. 
If you enjoyed watching this, then like, comment, and share the video with your friends and fellow pet parents. Don't forget to subscribe to Monku Dog for more videos on keeping, raising, and training a dog.